So I'm one of the people who hate having dirty shoes. So this, I had to go through right before get it dirty. Otherwise, I do multiple cleanings like at least twice a week on my shoes. But um, today I'm gonna be showing how to clean the shoes. I mean, there's different ways, but this is the way that works best for me. So we're gonna start with this one. I use this brand, Rejuvenator. You could use different, there's all different types of brands. Um, if you don't have a product like this, you could use like a detergent. If you use dish soap, it's gonna dry out the leather and get it to like crack and whatever. Just a couple of squirts, but you start with unlacing the shoes. If you washed it with the laces on there, does it mess up with the laces or anything? It can fray it with, um, it depends on what brushes you use. Um, you start with like a soft, but the stiffer the brush is, it's going to start fraying it and get it not looking very good, I guess. <laughs> start with a soft bristle brush it's gonna produce the most soap and if you're working with anything other than leather the soft bristle is gonna be the best because if you have like a new book suede or a mesh anything stronger is gonna get it to fray so with this leather I'm gonna start out with the soft bristle just go in a circle Does it take you a long time to clean your shoes? Like, are you really thorough when you clean them? Um, I try to be, yeah. It depends if I have a bunch to clean. And then, if it's like a mesh, you want to stay with the soft bristle and you don't want to go too hard because it's going to fray. So, um, you could then throw it in the laundry, use just regular detergent, or and then put it in like a pillowcase so it doesn't fly around or anything. Most of it out. But if there's deeper stains, like if you're the white shoe, where it's easier to see, and you just kind of go into it. This is a medium bristle. It's gonna get the deeper stains out. Well, this is black, so it's not gonna. Can't really see the stains. So you're seeing the same thing. Do you use bleach for the white shoes? No, I never bleach my shoes. I'll just use the um continue the solution and then throw it in the washer with that detergent on a cold cycle. Uh, anything warm is going to um, set the stains inside the mesh, especially if we're working with mesh. But, and then if um, the insides are really dirty, use a soft bristle, go inside, clean all the inside. My inside's not very dirty, so I'm not going to go in there. But then you can pull out the insole, get the insole, scrub it all out. But, um, after you get the uppers, then you can move on to the bottom. And then it comes the stiff bristle brush. This is only going to be for the rubber midsole. If you have like a painted midsole, you just want to stay with the soft or medium. The painted, if you use a hard bristle, it's going to um, ruin the paint on the midsoles. But because this is rubber, I'll just stay with or use this hard bristle. This is really tough too, so if you have a, a lighter colored rubber pencil, it's gonna get most of the stains out. And then you just use it for the bottom. So 
but if you use the stiff bristle, like on the leather too, it's going to scratch the leather and um, you're going to have a lot of different scuffs in there. So the stiff bristle is just meant for the soles and then uh, a rubber midsole. A lot of people don't think about it like you, but I usually clean most of them. Unless it's one I wear frequently. Man. Do you have to be in a certain mindset to clean your shoes? Or do you have um, to be in the mood for it? Uh, no, I just usually try to do it on Wednesdays and Sundays, Sundays in the evening, throughout the shoes that I've worn throughout the week. I have tons and tons of different shoes. So, um, and so I like to keep them clean just in case I do end up selling them. I get, instead of having to go through and clean them again right away. So then after you get that bottom done, you just let it sit there, let it dry. You don't want to throw it in the washer. If you throw it in the washer, it's gonna, with leather, it could shrink the um, the leather, ruin the leather. And then um, if you have glue, it's gonna warm up the glue and cause separation from the midsoles. So you just want to let it air dry. With the laces, you just throw it in the remaining of the solution. Just dip it in there. And you just you do it by hand, you don't need to use a brush or anything. But if you have white laces, they're um, going to be a lot more dirtier, so you just let it sit in there for however long you want. And then you just come out, just use your hands, rub them together. Then just let it sit there till it dries. You could um, put it on the sun. As long as it's not too hot out, um, that'll be fine. Just don't throw them in the dryer. The laces will be fine, but like I said, the shoes. So, what we did was start out with the soft bristle, or take off the laces for the solution. We used the soft bristle, lift up most of the dirt, then we moved on to the medium bristle that got the deeper stains out. Then we used the hard bristle for the rubber midsoles for the soles, get the laces in there, and then I just gotta wait for it to dry and then you lace it back up and the water to be warm again. Thank you.